Hello everyone, I'm Reza Tangesani and in this video I'm going to show you how to link AvaQuest with uh, Intel and Visual Studio for subroutine. Uh, before I start, I would like to say that uh, for all AvaQuest from version 2016 to 2020, Visual Studio uh, and Intel compiler 2015 would work and there is no problem with it. I, I already checked it with uh, 2016, 2019 and 2020 and I'm pretty sure about 2017 and 18. Uh, for the older version such as 6.14 and the older version I would recommend uh, to use uh, Visual Studio 2012 or 2008. I can't say anything for now but you can um, check it in Google and you can find the compatible version for do, those older version but now here uh, I, I, I would uh, go with uh, Visual Studio and Intel compiler 2015 now let's go for linking Abacus with Intel and uh, Visual Studio okay just remember that I already installed Visual Studio and Intel compiler so I, I used 2015 for both so you all, you need to use them and uh, for both you need to have the I mean student version works for both of them but for Abacus you need to have the uh, researcher or uh, university license okay but for those the other two is uh, students version is fine for linking we use these two directory these are the two directions that we're gonna use uh, I'm gonna show you from the my computer as well but just remember these two um, here I'm gonna go to my computer driver C uh, program file after that I'm looking for Intel here it is and then I'm gonna go to we, I have two options composer with a number in front and then composer exe I go with composer 2015 which shows the version of the Visual Studio and then I'm going to go uh, to the Bing folder and after that to the Intel 64 and then I'm going to look for i4 uh, which is here as you can see the direction I, I already written in here and then if I go uh, back I'm ca I can find the i4 vars uh, which is this is the direction I already wrote it here okay um, i4 bars and i4 are for intel and we need them for int, uh, for linking abacus uh, to show you that it's the same direction i'm gonna copy it i'm gonna copy the direction and then i'm gonna paste it on the file to show you that it's same and uh, here you can see that this is the same direction okay now I go for next step which using this direction for environment variable uh, here I go for um, my computer and uh, for properties then I click on the uh, this option here in variable variable and then to show you the whole window I'm gonna extend it here I need to uh, find this command let me uh, path here it is and then after that I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna create a new I first I scroll down and here I need to I need to use this one the first or the second it doesn't matter which one you go first and then I'm gonna copy and uh, paste it in here with new then I'm gonna say okay and then for the next one again I, I copy it I go for the click on the path again and I click on new and paste it on here okay after that just to make sure that both are there I click on it and for the next step I need to click uh, use this command this command is for abacus I need to go to the place that I already installed my abacus 
it's in my uh, first I need to copy it I go to my computer driver C uh, com uh, simula commands here I can see the abacus with some number in front which shows the version of my abacus and then after this line I, per, uh, I put an intro and go to the next line and paste the comment okay uh, I save it after that I think everything is ready uh, already, uh, now the abacus is linked with the uh, Intel and Visual Studio now just to show you how the uh, to show you to, to make sure that the abacus is linked with the Fortran, I'm gonna open it. Abacus CAE. Here it is. As you can see, this is this uh, new paragraph on here, which shows that the abacus is already linked with the uh, Intel. Uh, abacus is open here. Now, for next step, I would like to run a subroutine file. Uh, I already have created the model. First, I'm gonna close it. And here it is. Um, I need to bring it okay uh, I already explained this method for running a subroutine file is in the other video here I need to say abacus uh, user and subroutine and then uh, after that you can see that it's run runs uh, run standard and now you can see the results in here uh, as you can see I defined the USFLD and I defined different material for different parts Okay, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question, please let us know so I can uh, help you with. Until the next video, bye.